Let's figure out the empirical formula of an organic compound based on combustion analysis. That is, taking a sample of some organic compound, polystyrene here, and burning it gives 7.26 grams of carbon dioxide and 1.48 grams of H2O. Now this is a simple example. If the original compound was made of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen, it would be tougher. I'll make another video about that. But if you're given only carbon and hydrogen, this is a video for you. Now, check out how we do this. If we know that we have 7.26 grams of carbon dioxide, we can figure out how many moles of carbon dioxide that is. The formula for moles is mass over molar mass. Now, Number of moles of carbon dioxide in the products is 7.26 grams divided by the molar mass of carbon dioxide. You know how to get molar mass. I hope you do if you're watching this video, because uh, if not, you're pretty far behind in your course. But yeah, who am I to judge? 7.26 divided by 44.01 gives me 0 0.1650 moles of this carbon dioxide stuff. Now, because I have only one atom of carbon dioxide in each, sorry, because I have only one atom of carbon in each carbon dioxide, that means I have 0 0.1650 moles of carbon. That's a key number because we now have converted the product CO2 into the number of atoms of carbon in the original sample. Let's do the same for water. The number of moles of water that we have is mass, 1.48 grams, divided by the molar mass. The molar mass of water is 18.02 grams per mole. Let me grab my calculator again. 1.48 divided by 18.02, 0 0.08213 moles of water. Now here comes the trickiest bit in my experience of teaching people how to do this. Because each water molecule has two hydrogens, the number of hydrogens in this sample is double this amount. 16426. I double that in my head. You can do it by calculator if you're not as awesome as I am with mental math. No judgments. But you have to double the number of moles of water to get the number of moles of hydrogen. This is why it's important right here because we now know how many moles of carbon were in the original sample and we know how many moles of hydrogen were in the original sample. By inspection, they're the same. If they weren't the same, you could find the ratio between them. Perhaps this is 0.16 and this is 0.32. This number is double that one. Hopefully you'll be able to find what the ratio is. My ratios are equal, which means my empirical formula is C1H1, or rather one carbon to one hydrogen. And that's it. Now note, when I originally wrote this question, I gave the sample size in grams, but I didn't need it. As long as I knew the mass of carbon dioxide formed, I could get the number of moles of carbon. And as long as I had the mass of water formed, I could get the number of moles of hydrogen. And that's all I needed. Again, if there was a third atom in here, we'd have to do it a little more complicated of a way because you'll have to figure out what mass of the other atom remains. But that's a video for another day. Hopefully this one helped you and best of luck.